Welcome back to the main pre-configuration project and in this video we're going to be talking about the mighty Neo Geo MVS. Now for the most part this platform was pretty easy to tackle, however when it came to researching which versions of these games were the definitive ones, opinions were mixed. Now when I say definitive versions, it's not really the versions I'm referring to, it's the region in which these games are played. Basically, some of these games when set to Japan have different and more mature content. However, some people are willing to sacrifice that in exchange for English. So I can definitively say there is no definitive way to play these games. And to be able to switch regions, you need to change the entire BIOS for that game. So it's not just as easy as going into the test menu and swapping a few things around. However, there is a perfect solution to this situation and it's called the Universe BIOS. This is a custom made multi-region BIOS that was made for original hardware and it allows for region switching on the fly and you can also switch between MVS and AES versions of these games which is absolutely amazing. And it also brings with it a whole bunch of other fixes and tweaks at ground level. And if you own any original hardware, you absolutely need this BIOS in your life. But the bonus here is, is that it also works in MAME and is part of the standard set. So when you start an MVS game using this BIOS, instead of the green garbage, you're presented with this screen instead. And if you press A, B and C during that splash screen, you can access the options and change whatever you'd like. So because these games have no definitive way, this is the best way to keep everything convenient and easily changeable for your personal preference. And if you don't care about region switching or messing about with these games at all, I would still recommend using this BIOS because of the other enhancements and fixes that it brings at ground level. Now that we got the BIOS stuff out of the way, we can talk about enhancements. Some of these games have blood, flash and violence turned off and I've made sure they're all turned on by default. So all the good stuff is here. Other enhancements include games like Viewpoint. By default, its two player mode is set to alternating but it does have a simultaneous mode available which duh is way better. When it comes to hidden characters, there are quite a lot across many of these games and these are unlocked with cheat codes. However, they are only unlocked for a one-time use. They do not save to the NVRAM save state. So in effect, there's nothing to unlock on that front. You just need to use the cheat code every time you want to use that hidden character. Also, by default, the level display and credit display are on. And for me personally, this just gets in the way. So I've gone through and deactivated these from every single game. Now when it came to setting controls, everything was pretty easy because the MVS uses a standard control layout for all but three games. And I've made sure to map the majority of these games to their how-to tutorials. However, some fighting games have had their buttons moved around to adhere to the standard fighting game layout for controllers. So that's punches on top, kicks on the bottom. For a lot of these fighting games, button combinations are needed for things like strong attacks, charge attacks, tag in and all that good stuff. And what I've done is made sure to combine these inputs up and map them to the shoulder buttons for extra convenience. You're welcome. And of course, you've got the button layout images so you know exactly what's going on. Now this one does need a little bit of setup in comparison to the others and this is because we want those Neo Geo games to use a different BIOS and only those Neo Geo games. And I would provide that file for you, but it is going to mess with your current settings. So you're going to make the file that we need right now. So just open up MAME and you should have a MAME INI file. We're just going to copy this and paste it, just make a copy. And we're going to rename it Neo Geo. Neo Geo. There we go. And then we're going to open that up. We're going to go down to Core MISC Options. Where is it? There we go, there it is. And you see the BIOS line there. And in that place, we're gonna put the number 16. And then we're gonna save it. And there we go. And this makes all of those Neo Geo games use that universe BIOS. Then you can grab those images and those pre-configured main files over on LaunchBox and over on GitHub. And I'll put links for those in the description below. Just make sure that you put the nvram files in the nvram folder and the config files in the config folder. As I mentioned earlier, when you start a game with this BIOS, you'll only have a few seconds to press A, B and C to access all of the different settings. And if you miss it, just restart the game. 
And if you're not really bothered about changing any of these settings, leaving all of them at default is absolutely fine. But this way, everybody has the choice and it's nice and convenient. There we go, that was Neo Geo MVS. On to the next, and that's gonna be covering the rest of the SNK games, where we'll be sorting out those stupid rotary joystick games. So if you wanna keep up to date with all of that, you know what to do. And if you liked today's video, slam me a thumbs up. And apart from that, go play some games. Adios.